Greetings, Guardians, and welcome to another TDT video. I'm your funky host, Funky Thumbs, and with me today is the ever-so-unhumble Luxio. How's it going, buddy? Pretty good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. I, uh, I brought you here today because I want to talk about some stuff, like lots have been going on. Uh, first, I want to mention the, the new level of Bungie's community interactions, and yeah. you know, since the personnel changes and stuff, it really feels like they're going in the right direction. Um, they, uh, you know, everybody knows the memes, everybody knows how it's felt, you know, like for as long as I can remember, it's been like the community is, is, is very vocal about specific things and it feels like Bungie's like, okay, we're listening, but these are what the analytics say. And then they make changes based off the analytics. And there's always been that kind of disconnect, but now it feels like with, uh, with Blackburn, it's like he's sitting down and it's like a player to player. It's like this, like, I agree. This is Completely. what we want. This is what we're doing. We're going to do it together. And uh, I just wanted to know what your thoughts were on it. So yeah, what I've noticed is with the uh, the personal change, like you mentioned, Blackburn has taken over. Um, and it seems like there's a there's a whole new tier of interaction with these um, with these surveys we've been getting. And I'm sure you've uh, you've seen these. Um, mm -hmm. One of them was the cheating survey. Um, which I'm not sure what what the uh, what the motive were, like behind that was like doing it now, but they've released it and I'm happy that they're finally taking feedback about it. And then the other one was this uh, this voting survey about the Dino versus Monster um, armor set, which Dino won by the way. Not sure how that happened, but rip my dreams. I, I know. really wanted that Hunter Monster armor. It definitely looked good. I can't lie. I'm not. I'm not terribly upset that I get to be a Velasa hunter, but my god, did that monster armor look amazing. So good. Mm. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so but yeah, mo uh, it's, moving on. It's a step in the right direction, that's all I'll say. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I totally agree with you there. Uh, but, uh, but, but quickly moving on, Yeah. Uh, another thing that I'm really excited about happening is, is the Grandmasters returning. Absolutely. I think... They've been hitting it on the head. I think the uh, the the couple of lifestyle changes they've made uh, is is going to be great. Yep, uh, it's it's a really good way to you know one test your skill. You know, end game PVE activities. If you can't get a six man raid going, it's great. Um, the the adept weapons are good and they're worth farming for. Not to mention you can get all of the adept raids or uh, mods from these grandmasters. Yeah. So you don't have to wait till Friday to try and get your chance of getting it uh, from from trials. You can grind this as much as you can to get it through the nightfalls. Yeah. And my personal favorite is the playlist that they're going to put at the last three weeks. So if life happens, if something happens and you miss or you just don't get it done that week, you've still got a chance to get it done so you can get uh -huh. everything that you want out of it. Yeah. And that's the kind of quality of life that we need. Definitely. I, I completely agree with you there. Grandmaster Return, very hyped about it. The one thing I am completely hyped about, though, is using Aeons. These Aeon Soul Exotics are causing quite the uproar in the in the PvE meta, definitely. Um, I, I think they're definitely going to be S-tier. My thoughts, exactly. Um, I, I know that with a good coordinated team, you're only going to get more value out of it. Yeah. And if, if everybody's on the same page, everybody knows what they're doing, then there's not really much that, that can go wrong with it. Um, yeah, and definitely. it's great because I don't think I've ever heard anyone say I'm excited to run <laughs> the Aeon Aeons. exotics. Yep. Like it's, it's been kind of a joke. Like, I know I was laughing a few months ago that, uh, yeah, I got a 70 base stat roll exotic to drop, but it was an Aeon, so I immediately infused it into something else. Wow. Now I'm kicking myself for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. I want to mention, m moving on from Aeons being really good, to another good thing in this most recent twop is these stasis changes. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. Um... You know, Shall looking over it, I think it's I think it's great. I guess you want to start with my main. Let's go for it. Let's start with the hunter. All right. So we're getting, you know, no 
no damage resistance from Shatter Dive as, lo- as well as a four second cooldown. Uh-huh. I'm okay with this. Um, you know, I personally use it as a movement tool slash uh, get out of being duck hunt for everybody else tool. And uh, I, I think it's I think it's a great change. It doesn't feel like it's going to be underwhelming. I feel like it's it's going to be right where it needs to be. Um, Absolutely. And with the with the withering blades, the the melees, you know, the, dropping the damage, dropping the amount of slow stacks, uh, you know, decreasing target acquisition. It it really feels like they're bringing this level of you have to be careful and you have to be controlled with what you're doing to be successful instead of I'm going to get myself in a dumb situation and because of the subclass I'm running, I get out for free. Yeah. And I, I really feel like that's the kind of the overall mentality between Yeah, behind they're driving things. that. They're driving that uh, that mentality of making it more... Um, you to, make, uh, to get the most out of it, you have to, you have to play smart and, and use them most in the most efficient way possible and that is very apparent with the withering blade changes they made as well with the uh, the decreased damage um and the decreased stack of slow you get meaning the dodge one withering blade combo is no more yeah yeah so so now it's you have to weigh the the situation in do i use one shuriken after the dodge uh, clean them up with a gun, or you know, do I not? Do I hold my shuriken for the next guy's coming around the corner and just try to hopefully kill this guy uh, with just the slow that he gets from my dodge? Kind of see where that goes. It's like yep. you, you have more more to think about because it's not a one hit KO like it used to be. Yeah, yeah. All right, so run us run us through your main, Mister. That Punchy being boy. said, let's move on to Thick Boy. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. I know how good Glacial Quake has been, but I want to get an outsider's opinion. Tell me, they've just removed the AoE freeze on pop of Glacial Quake. What do you like? What is your opinion on this? Uh, I did a happy dance. I, <laughs> uh, I, I, I praised, you know, uh, Mr. Rahul. I am extremely, extremely pleased with this. That's good. Um, and just in general, they're they're taking the efficiency and the uh, the length of the super down a bit, which I think it needed as well. Being a Titan main, when uh, I was using like Behemoth versus like any other subclass, it just felt so much more consistent with the uh, yeah. the super. Um, and before before Stasis, you didn't really notice that, you know? Like, uh, if you were using a Striker Titan, it's not been good in a while since, like, it was really broken. But mm-hmm. it, because it was one of the better ones, you didn't notice it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But now that Stasis is in, it really shows that comparison. And I'm glad that the changes they're making are, uh, are bringing it more in line with those supers. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. Like, it, I, I feel like... Nothing that they did is going to mess up the consistency. It's it's just bringing the efficacy down to yeah. where it needs to be. It's 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 perfect. If uh, if I may be so bold, um, I, like because I know my most frustrating thing was you know pushing a titan. He's weak. All of a sudden he pops his super, and because of the instant freeze, I'm just dead. And because of how efficiently the the super was, by the time I respawn on the other side of the map, he's there, and I'm getting yeah, a absolutely cold fist to the face again. So twice now, if like now with these changes in mind, if someone is able to do that, GG's to them. Like I'm not even going to be upset because that's going to take skill yeah. and it's going to take you know that careful, calculated Shall... approach. To using the super. Shall we talk about the masters of instant freeze now? The warlocks. Yeah. The space um, wizards. Yeah, space wizards. Uh, I see Gandalfs. I um, there's there's not really anything outlandish about the stuff that's happening with them. Yeah. I uh, I think it's good quality of cha- quality of life changes because with 
compared to the other two stasis subclasses, I don't know how you felt, but it's always I think felt it's like very the least consistent. Yeah. I think it's fairly balanced at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but it's how, but it's how the subclass should feel. Like it feels weaker right, like very weak right now because the other two are outliers. That's mm -hmm. my, that's where I'm at. But the 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 good changes I see in here are the ice flare bolts consistency changes, which is going to make it so much more um, consistent and uh, efficient with uh, yeah. with the warlock um, fragment. But also, yeah, no, I'm. I'm right there with you on it. Yeah, but also Chaos Reach is also getting a change, which isn't necessarily stasis, but it was definitely an outlier in competitive game modes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the, the amount of the the amount of frequency you can have with uh, what I like to call it is the uh, the disrespectful Nova Bomb. Mm -hmm. so you can literally turn a corner, nuke a guy or two, cut your super off, and it's it's fully healed in the next minute, minute and a half. Yeah. So I'm I'm glad that's happening. Um, I I think I like the idea of them doing that instead of you know like dropping the damage on it because you know you don't get damage resistance in it or not a whole lot. So it uh, it feels like a good change. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the dusk field grenades are also a good change. They feel like oh yeah, I was reading them. Those are possibly the strongest nades in the game right now. Actually, definitely the strongest nades in the game right now. Yeah, uh, possibly is not being generous enough. <laughs> definitely, one hundred percent the strongest nade in the game right now, and they are completely reworking uh, their slow and their pool, which is the part that made them so good it was it was the it was saying nope to cover wasn't it yeah 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 i i, I can't tell you how many times i have i've been you know uh, just yanked off of the map or into a wall and killed or or something just because like it took whatever momentum i might have had and just ramped it up to 11 and then thrown oh, it yeah. in there or you know if i'm not playing top tree dawn blade if i get pulled into the center of it i'm not making it out Oh yeah. Um, so I feel like, again, going back to the overall theme, it's you know you're going to have to be calculated and controlled when you're using these because they're going to make it easier to get out of. They're going to make it to where it's more punishing if you throw it too far out. So uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm right there with you. Um, you know, same same as the changes that they're making with the stasis crystals. You know, they're the, dropping the, the shatter damage, which is fantastic. Yep. So now it feels like if you're not standing right up against that, that ice wall, you've got a chance. Whereas before, it's like if you turn a corner and you see that ice wall, you just kind of accept your fate because you know mm -hmm. there's a shatter dive coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, now you've got some more counterplay, and that's the kind of stuff that's going to make it um, a lot more fun, you know. It's less infuriating to to just constantly do stuff like that. I agree. So, I'm 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 right there with you. Um, so another another change that I think that both of us are extremely happy about. Yeah, what's is the that? Changes that they're making to Arbalest. Arbalest, possibly the most broken gun. That's not really been noticed since, uh, like until like. A couple of seasons before Beyond Light, um, it was sort of a hidden gem. Well, not really a hidden gem, a hidden sword. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, just because it's, it's always the... been strong, and it's it's always had its had its thing. And I don't think people realized how strong that gun was until yep. they made Komodo the uh, the pinnacle weapon, because everyone jumped in when was using Arbalest because it's the easiest way to get linear fusion kills. And that's when I think the light bulb clicked. It's like, holy crap, this gives me free headshots. Yeah. And it's just run rampant since then. And so, so what they've done, I, I love the change. We'll see if it's enough. I'm hoping it is. The aim assist has been hopefully neutered <laughs> down to sniper yeah. level. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm hoping that's where it is because like, Arbalest really had the trifecta of like, 
low zoom, really clean sight, high aim assist. So. Yep. So yeah, it was uh, just it was just it was the triangle of bro of like opness, right? Yeah. Absolutely. So hopefully that uh, that makes everything feel better. Um, with the level of care and detail that they're taking with this, I feel pretty confident that the other you know balances and nerfs that are coming to some of the other weapon outliers are going to be right where they need to be. And, okay. Uh, I know you're shocked about this, but so am I. But uh, Trials is already back. So I am fixed it. completely shocked uh, when I read that. I was I was expecting Trials to be away for a very long time. Me too, considering that what took it down was an exploit and not a hack. And it's yeah. like, how do you how do you how do you justify it? that? Yeah, how do um, you get around it and justify it? Yeah, yeah. Like if I don't know about you, but maybe you know some of our viewers are a little bit more uh, savvy on that. So if you know how they could go around something like that, by all means, leave a comment in the in the comment section. But uh, yeah, no, it. Uh, I'm glad. So definitely, there's not much else to say. So, I'm Lux. Do you overall, remember the outro? I honestly, I never do, ever. It's okay. It's okay. I'll help you out with it. Just Thank you so much. Write it, <laughs> it on my forehead. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, guardians, love your faces. Deuces. <laughs>